guys, Just Hockey here, back at you with another video. Today's topic is going to be going over the recent speculation regarding the Winnipeg Jets and forward Evgeny Shvechnikov. An article from Sportsnet talks about how there has been mutual interest between the two sides to get a deal done. Shvechnikov became an unrestricted free agent when the Red Wings did not give him a qualifying offer to keep his RFA rights. For those of you who are unfamiliar with who Shvechnikov is, he is a 24-year-old left winger who was drafted 19th overall in the 2015 NHL entry draft. He is 6 feet 3, 208 pounds, and is a left-handed shooter. This short article ends there by saying that if the Jets do indeed sign him, that they will have to maneuver over the cap as they are currently $5.5 million over it. This year, Shvechnikov recorded 8 points in 21 games, which is an average of a point every 3 games that he plays. Although his numbers aren't the most eye-appealing, he was not given much of an opportunity at all with the Red Wings, as over the time of 4 years with the organization, he was only given playing time for 41 of those games. In my opinion, this would be a great signing for the Winnipeg Jets as he is an agile and tough to play player and is a winger who is very keen to show what he can do after not getting much time to play with the Red Wings. The hardest thing for the Jets though, as mentioned before, is getting under the cap. A deal for Shachikov would probably come in the ballpark of 2 to 3 million dollars every year. The Jets will have to try and dump some contracts on the team to like other teams like the Coyotes or the Sabres who aren't going to be contending for the playoffs this year. And they might give like picks and prospects for the future. Shvechnikov will be a good addition for the Jets as they are still keeping the same core and going at a Stanley Cup run again. With the moves that got Brandon Dillon, Nate Schmidt and now maybe even Shvechnikov, Shevodov will have to make a few more moves to finalize his roster for the next season. Anyway, that is it for this video. Talk to me in the comments down below if you think Shvechnikov would potentially sign with the Jets, and if you think the Jets will benefit from this and if it helps their current roster or not. If you went on to enjoy this video, consider liking and subscribing as it is free and helps my channel out a lot. Other than that, I will see you in the next video. Bye.